Welcome back, everybody, to the NBA 2K22 My NBA Expansion Series with the Kansas City Scouts. And today we have part two of the Eastern Conference Finals as we lead two games to nothing against the Chicago Bulls. Over in the West, the Timberwolves, led by current MVP LaMelo Ball, lead the two seed Lakers two games to none as well. Both teams in Game 3 for us are going to stick to their same lineups as Games 1 and 2. So without further ado, let's go into Game 3. Here we go at the United Center in Chicago. Valentine wins the tip. The scouts are debuting some new jerseys here just like last episode and the one before that. We start with the ball and now a foul is called on Glover. It's the first game in Chicago of the series. Weaver working on John Morant. Gets by him and lays that one in. Fantastic start. John Morant drives, lays that one in. Weaver lost the ball. John Morant gets the steal. He finds Porter who throws it right to Tyler Mullen. And now Weaver throws it right to Towns. What's going on? Off the screen, McKinney pump fakes, goes into a shot and draws the foul. That's the first on Valentine. First free throw is up and good. Man, I should have tried to get us some different jerseys every couple of seasons because these are sweet. And now a quick three for Jordan. It's good. The assist goes to Weaver. Chicago is slept on defense and our offense is very high powered and just a great job right there. John Morant goes to Glover at the rim. He ties things up. Mullen working on Glover. A really extended hook shot that was left well short. Porter throws it to Mullen, trying to find Glover a second time. Jordan will take it himself all the way through Porter's contact. Off the screen, Porter penetrates. Too quick for anybody else to catch up. Jordan takes the screen. Gets by Towns for a dunk. He's got six. Actually, seven. Porter goes to Glover, and he scores. Valentine steps into a shot that is very contested. Grant spins, fires, and knocks it down. Jordan muscling through Porter once again. Jaw penetrates, fades away. Really tough shot. Solid stop there by Jordan. Jordan fires a deep three. Are you serious? He's five for five. That was an incredible shot. Porter attacks Weaver. He played some good defense, but just better offense right there. That cuts our lead back to one. Here's Weaver with time counting down. He steps out of bounds. Bulls take over. Grant drives and posterizes Mullen. Chicago leading by a one. We were trying to make that not the case, but that one rattles out, obviously. Glover at the rim, off the pass from McKinney. It's good. Weaver throws it to Glover, trying to find Valentine, who is cutting. McKinney fires, but it's off. Five on the clock for the scouts. Weaver's got the ball. Off the screen, he fires. Decent look, it's good. We jump ahead. Just below 8 to go here in the first half. And the scouts lead by 10, 38 to 28. And we also have the ball. Five on the clock for the scouts. Weaver was cutting. Graves finds him. He scores over Ja Morant. McKinney throws up a wild shot. 
Raves penetrates and can't lay it in. Got his own miss back. And the offense resets. Hendricks off the screen. Drives, flies past McKinney or Glover. That's Glover in for a layup. Porter behind the back to John Morant. And he throws up a tough shot. Good defense by Weaver. Valentine. Why? Porter fires the three. It's left short. Weaver. Wide open look from downtown. That's how you do it, Porter. Off the screen. McKinney flies inside and lays that one. And Valentine was in close pursuit. We have shot 63%. They've shot just below 50. Weaver. At the rib, somehow got it to go. Porter at the rib, missed it. Weaver for three, wide open again, it's good. The scouts lead by 20 points. And Weaver's got 19. And Valentine, wow, call for a block there. Tried to draw the charge. Now a three-point play opportunity here for KPJ. Hendricks drives and finishes through contact. Fantastic stuff. The Foster goes back to Bones for a three. It's off. Now Graves in transition. It rattles out. Porter. Wow. Weaver, ISO against Foster. Gets inside and just missed the layup. It was a very good chance, though. Porter got the switch to Banks. He fires. It's off. Graves. The first free throw is good. The second is good as well. The Bulls call timeout. Under three to go in the half. Porter trying again, but once again misfires. Weaver now in transition. Oh, almost had the shot blocked, but he still missed it. Foster on the stop right there. Washington getting physical against Graves, and he missed the shot. Graves spins. The shot is good. The soft touch off the glass. Porter off the screen. Gets by Graves, and he's not fast enough to get back to him. Jordan is... Apparently a little bit hurt. He fires a three. It's good, though. It does not matter. Ronnie Jordan is just a special player. He had 14 first quarter points and did not miss a shot. Porter drives. Can't finish, though. Bowman is solid defense. Raves fires a three. It's out with a key. It's off. Porter. Once again, he is ice cold. Foster trying to work on Graves. Can't get by him, but he'll just go through him. Jordan trying to punish Bones Highland, but they got the stop. Highland spins at the elbow. The shot is no good. Jordan gets by Highland. This time he got him. And the Bulls have the last shot of the first half. Currently down by 22 points. Highland for three. It's off. The scouts' dominance of Chicago continues here in game three. All hope is lost for the Bulls. Five forty-two to go here in the third quarter. Not much has changed. The scouts still lead and by more. Bowman working on McKinney. Just tosses one up there. Not even looking at the rim, it seems like. 
Foster for three. It's open, but it's off. Just like games one and two. Things just aren't falling for Chicago. Weaver, what a move, and what a layup. He's got 27 points. 11 for 14. Island almost had his shot blocked, but ends up knocking it down. Weaver blows by Foster. The quickness of Weaver. He is just so sneaky quick. McKinney off a double screen. At the elbow. That shot is no good. Weaver off the double screen. Inside again. Three straight buckets in a row for him. McKinney. Wow. That was incredible. Got to give him props for that. Thanks to Weaver. He's not done yet, folks. 34. We've made 10 more threes than Chicago. You can't win like that in today's game. You can't. Highland over Mullen. They just can't hit anything right now. Weaver. Has his shot blocked this time by Washington. Now McKinney off the screen. Can't hit the three. They just are taking bad shots. They're missing open ones. Jordan to Weaver. Left wide open. It's 37 for him. He is, I believe, 14 for 17. McKinney gets by Banks right there for that layup. But we are just outpacing them every minute of this game. Jordan, double team, goes to Bowman for a three. It's off. Foster blocked right there by Kirk Banks. Bowman. Finds Weaver. It's blocked from behind once again by Washington. Island for three. Left it short. Mullen. Baseline jumper. It's good. Foster goes to Aldama. Wide open look. Too strong. Weaver off the screen. Has a decent look. 39. I feel like we have to watch more. That shot's no good. Banks gets the board. Weaver. Open look again. 41. 41 through 3. We, we have to keep on going. He has to get 50, right? He has to. Last shot of the quarter. Foster's got the ball. He drives and scores. But it does not matter because this game has been over for a while. We lead 93 to 57. But Weaver's going for 50. We, got, we just got to keep on going, folks. We have to. I have no choice. We jump ahead. 6.03 to go. Weaver's got 44. Jordan's got 25. Can a Weaver score 6 points to get to 50? Let's find out. Jordan goes to Mullen. He's stripped. And Towns has a steal. Morant knocks that one down. But I think for the rest of this game, we're going to watch the highlights for the scouts to uh, make this one go a bit quicker here. Ananobi to Weaver, wide open, 347. One three away from 50 points here in game three. Jordan, top of the key three. That one drops. He's got 28. A minute 20 to go. Can we do it? Jordan pulls up. That shot's good. Weaver's still at 47. 
I need to see him drop 50. I need to. Folks, our next shot is our last chance to watch Weaver potentially go for 50. It's our last chance. Get this man the ball, please. Jordan's got it. Oh, we're going to attack the mismatch with Graves. Wow. We couldn't let my man get up one shot. One more shot. Come on. How many times have we been like a bucket or two away from watching one of these guys drop 50? It's happened so many times. But I'll take 47, right? And 32 for Jordan. And also a 3-0 lead. That's pretty nice. John Morant drops 22 points. Highland goes for 20. But the Weaver-Jordan duo is unbeatable. I can't believe that there was a time where we lost playoff series with these two guys starting together. I can't believe that. 47 for Weaver. 32 for Jordan. Both guys shot lights out. I mean, what more can you ask for? That takes us to game four, and Jordan does have a bruised right bicep, but he is day-to-day, -day, so it will not affect him that much. We're going to keep him there, obviously. And now he's fully healed by the time that game four even comes around. And so uh, game four, we're going to probably simcast the first half, jump in for a bit of the second half, and watch things unfold, and potentially watch us clinch our finals spot okay start of the second half and we have a very high scoring game here and it's close the scouts lead by six 71 to 65 at the start of the third john Morant blocked by valentine great help defense there's a mismatch for mullen against john Morant. can he punish him down low the answer is no. Porter threw a bunch of contact, missed it. Now Jordan, nice fake to get by McKinney. Ronnie Jordan, what a special player. I cannot say that enough. He's just so good, so fun to watch. Jaw over Jordan, offline. Weaver finds Ananopi for a three. It rattles out, though. Morant off the screen. Too quick for our defense. Jordan turns the ball over. A steal there for Oliver Washington. And now a chance for the Bulls to cut our lead in half. John Morant does just that. Three-point game. Jordan lobs it for Valentine right over the fingertips of Towns. Porter off the screen. We don't switch well enough, and he has a wide open lane. And an OB to Jordan for a three. No good. Towns attacking, and he draws the foul. The second on Valentine. He takes responsibility for it. Towns has 11 points. He has not been very effective here in this series. I have not seen much from him at all. And he knocks down both. One point game. Jordan just flies by Porter. Are you kidding me? This man is an absolute menace. He's the complete package.
Like, come on! Ronnie! The free throw is good. Porter got the switch. And he's blocked by Valentine. Good job to stick with him. And an Obi. What was that pass? But we somehow got it back. Bowen missed the layup. But the putback is good. And then he flexes. Towns. Contested shot. No. Backdoor cut by Jordan. Weaver found him. This duo, man. Ah. Oh, they're so good together. Porter attacks Weaver. Gets by him and lays that one in. And we call a timeout up by six. Jordan finds Valentine between two defenders. Morant trying to challenge Jordan at the rim, but he can't do so. Weaver wants the screen from Valentine. Got the switch, goes back to Valentine. The pick and roll worked to perfection. Porter goes back to Towns for a three. It's wide open, but it's no good. Weaver off the screen. Gets around everybody. Lobs it for Mullen over John Morant. Porter, nice fake. Weaver with the ball. The layup is good. Under six to play in game four. And the scouts are pulling away. John Morant lays that one in, getting right past Tyler Mullen. 14-point game. Mullen finds Jordan working on Towns. He fades away. It's blocked. Morant. Wow. He's got 23. Jordan's got 29. Weaver's got 22. Mullen, the hop step. The bucket is off. Morant off the screen. Got the switch on to Mullen. Just broke his ankles. 10-point game. Under four to play. Weaver's got the ball. He wants to go at John Morant. Gets by on the reverse layup is good. McKinney with time counting down. Into a shot. It's off. Weaver. Whoa. He draws the foul. The first free throw is good. And the second is off. Porter finds Glover on the cut. The scouts call timeout, leading by 11. Wow. Jordan turns the ball over. Porter, a three, wide open. This game is nowhere near over, folks. The Bulls have locked up on defense so far. We were the open three, though. You can't leave that guy open. How many times do I have to tell you guys? You can't do that. Jaw out of a shot finds Towns at the rim. Jordan double team goes to Valentine. He finds Mullen. It was cutting. Just great basketball. Great passing. Morant lays that one in. Back to a nine-point game. A minute and a half to play. Mullen to Weaver. The dagger. It's good. And he looks at the crowd and points at him. You folks can all head home now. It was over from the start. You saw game one. The scouts will take game four and thus send the Bulls packing. In fact, you guys can all stay here because we're moving on. You guys are done for the season. In Chicago, you will stay. 
our second straight sweep in these playoffs. And we are once again the Eastern Conference champions. The three-peat dream is still alive. Weaver lifts the trophy. That's the last time we'll see that. John Morant drops 29 in the loss. Towns 22. But the scouts take care of business. Weaver drops 31 and 12. Jordan drops 29, 7 and 9. Double doubles for Mullen and for Valentine. And we are back in the finals once again. We look dominance right now after a slow start for us in these playoffs it has been smooth sailing since game four against the knicks weaver and jordan have gone absolutely ballistic in these playoffs as they do almost every single season they go nuclear so who will they face in the finals the lakers or the Timberwolves, Kate Cunningham, or LaMelo Ball? Let's find out. The Timberwolves win in five, and we face the reigning MVP. This is the Timberwolves roster. You've got LaMelo Ball, James Wiseman, Scott Justice, Kira Lewis Jr., Ivan Raja, Dwayne Watts. And how could I forget? They have Wade Webb. And he's going to be the starting shooting guard. It all comes full circle. Everything has led to this. Wade Webb is going to try to get his revenge. Oh no. Honest to God. You could not ask for a better opponent to face. At the end of the season. We get to face, like, one of our favorite players. One of the best scouts of all time behind Weaver and Jordan and Valentine. I can't wait to watch that guy go lights out from downtown on us. Because you know he will. That's all he ever does. So we're going to have Jordan guard Ball. We're going to have Weaver guard Webb. Because the heights are similar. The skill sets are very similar. And it's a good matchup for us defensively to do that. So, wow, I can't believe this. I totally forgot. These are the lineups. Ball, Webb, Justice, Wiseman, and Watts. For us, Weaver, Jordan, Ananobi, Mullen, Valentine. And the final series of this entire series starts Next episode, game one is coming your way soon, so stay tuned. Thanks guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment your thoughts down below, and until the finals begin, take care and go Scouts.